This is the world's finest amplifier in kit form by Dynaco. Crazy Eddie can show you how to get it together and save yourself about $200 with just a screwdriver and a soldering iron. A few hours of easy assembly with simple instructions makes it easy for you to save around one-third the cost. Get it all together with Dynaco's amplifier kits. The great sound of Dynaco Dynakit. You can find it at Crazy Eddie. All right, guys, we're here with uh, Jim Kaplan from Record Collector News. And Jim, what are we going to go check out today? Well, we're going to look at a stash that I pulled out of a house in Silver Lake, California. Welcome to Record Collector News World Headquarters, everybody. All right, let's go on in. Here, this is, this is an example of the shape some of the stuff was in. That's a Scott Scary Amplifier. Wow. From the fifties, and then welcome. We know this room. Yeah, been here before. So this is some of it right here, right? Yeah, this is pretty interesting. What we have here is a Citation One preamp. We have a Citation Two amplifier. We have a Citation Three X tuner. We have a Citation Four preamp and we have a citation 5 amplifier with a hat on it so it's the whole 19 early 1960s uh harbin carden citation line of uh stereo equipment which i think was pretty much their flagship stuff back then there's some interesting tubes in here aren't there oh yeah those tubes are real british gold lion gsc kt88s they're the real thing. Wow. They're like putting Ferrari tires on a Volkswagen. But this isn't a Volkswagen. It's is this right. on? This is warm. Yeah. Yeah, it's on. Very cool. That's what we were listening to. Oh, that, not, not your amp down there? No, we were listening to that. Oh, sounds great. It does. This is just the phono stage. Ah. Uh. That's the Zesto Andros 1.2. That is really... A wonderful photo stage. Um, Zesto. And with the uh, audio experience preamp, right? Yeah, the audio experience preamp right now, yep. Um, probably would sound better with the Townsend, but I just decided to go with that for now. Uh, uh, considering that I smoked the one of the caps on the ancient VTL. Oh, the VTL, yeah. Yeah, ugh, that broke my heart. All right, so what else we got in here? All right, in here we have... Um, that's part. I mean, of I mean, we we know your, we know your system pretty well. Oh yeah, there's this unit here. This try that you also picked up at the sale. Yeah, all part of the sale. That cleaned up nicely. That cleaned yeah, up looks very fresh. Anything. Yeah. Um, Do you know much about this company? No, they're Japanese. Um, I remember ten years ago or so seeing them at shows. It's pretty stuff. Yeah, Good looks looking. nice. KT eighty eight. Um, Probably about fifty watts per channel or so. Something like that, yeah. Maybe a little bit less. Um, over here, uh, this did not come out of there, but all this did. The This VPI. Oh, yeah. HW19, uh, yeah. I know this well. With a Riga tone arm. Yeah, with a nice Riga tone. And the motor controller there. Um, you know, I still, I don't think I've ever heard one of these tables. Maybe, maybe once at a show. Yeah. Um, but people Maybe people the, still collect them. The classic I've heard, but not this. Yeah. Oh yeah, the classic is. That's then, a different table, though. Yeah, and then that uh, Kenwood um, turntable with the uh, SME uh, Model Three arm on it. That's a honey, it really is. Yeah. So tell you were telling me about this arm earlier. Yeah, the arm is you know one of the original SMEs. The wand comes out. The whole wand comes out. So you would have, you know, instead of changing the cartridge in the heads, you'd change the wands out. 
And then underneath that is a really nice, although you can't really see it, um, the Fisher uh, 500. Oh, yeah. We know this one. Yeah. Um, That's a pretty clean one. Um, which Wait, which, which Fisher is this? The Fisher, a, but it's like, is it the 500? I think it's the 500C. I had two 500 Oh, yes. I, I see. Yeah, 500C. Yeah. And then this is a... What is that? A very very var- var- that's where you slowly bring up the voltage on this old stuff. Oh, out. okay. I'm yeah. not familiar with any of that stuff. Yeah, I'm becoming familiar. I'm really getting an education. Yeah, you bit off this. a lot with this. Yeah, just hauling this stuff out and bringing it here was. I don't know if my knees will ever uh, forgive me for it. Yeah. But wait, there's more. Um. The animals are sleeping. That's my wife's. Okay, so here. What's this? Oh my god. So you were asking me before, you did not know what the Technics R&B series was. Yeah, I wasn't sure. It's a, I looked it up. Radio Broadcasting Series. It looks like an SP-10 though. Yeah. But it's not quite. I thought it stood for Rhythm and Blues. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Seems like a big investment on Technic's part for the R and B industry. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Very interesting tone arm on this. Yeah, they, they, it looks like they added a bunch of extra damping. Yeah, the audio Technica cart yeah. on there mm-hmm. that does not want to focus. Yeah, oh, well, close light. enough. Um, I don't even know what that is. So this was all one owner, right? Yeah, one guy had this in a room, gathering dust, getting you know in a house. He was kind of a kind of a hoarder, um, obviously. And now the family's trying to deal with all this stuff. It's a story that's been told over and over again. You know, it just happens. But you know, I kind of wanted to honor this guy's collection. You know, he spent a lifetime on this stuff and collecting it, and it's very cool. It really is. It's so interesting. It is. There's a lot of hi-fi history here. Yeah, all tube stuff. I so mean, this is this is. I've never heard of this brand before. This is Ico. Ico. Yeah. Have you heard of this before? No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. That's it's like a tube oh, integrated, is, and then this is a, a Scott. Another Scott tuner. I love the faceplates on yeah. this. It, it looks so like Jetsons. Yeah. Anyone know what this is? I don't. Sound analyzer. Yeah, it'll analyze it from H.H. H. Scott, Inc. That's a Dynaco. Dyna. Oh, yeah. I've seen many of these before. These were, this, were, this was a popular yeah, preamp. I had one in use for you a know, while. You know, a friend of mine... And there's the Sugden. Oh, yeah. You're telling us about this. A Sugden... Uh, is it integrated? Integrated Class A tube. Like 30 watts or something. 20... Yeah, it's uh, kind of buried back there, but I've always been fascinated by Sugden stuff. And then here we have, this is Morant's tube uh, yeah. tube receiver, right? Yeah, the Model 22, I believe that's the last tube receiver Morant's manufactured, about 1968 or something. And then one of the last two Pioneers. Pioneer. And then a Yamaha 620. That's not tube. That's the only thing. Did Yamaha 600. ever make tube stuff? I don't know. That I don't huh. know. And then we have another There's one. A lot more here. Yeah. There's that VTL tube preamp that you... Uh, this is you... the one that I smoked a capacitor on. Uh, how, how did that happen? I was just playing it. Oh, it sounded and great. And I'm some... going, what's that smell? Oof. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. And, and then I looked and there was oil. Oh, no. Yeah. But it Probably, be yeah, an easy fix, I'm yeah. sure. Because um, that's... um. Yeah, especially if the tubes are fine. Ah, that thing is full of Telefunkens. Yeah. There's about half a dozen Telefunken tubes in there. It's unbelievable. These two, um, this is Pilot, late 50s, high fidelity. These are both... This is stuff I've never heard yeah, of before. Both preamps. That's a Sherwood tuner. That looks like a Scott. Is that an integrated or is that a? 
It's an. It's got to be. An it's it's app. called the Stereo Master. Yeah, so it's got to be an, in, an integrated app. Yeah, probably. And then a Yamaha Crazy. up here. Yeah. There's my coffee grinder. Yeah. Um, and we have a whole shelf of stuff here. Yeah, another rack. It's like, what angle do we want to get? <laughs> Uh, what's what's this table up here? This is an old Torrens, right? That's a Torrens. Uh, it's seen TV, better days. Uh, one twenty six, and next to it is another Torrens TD one twenty six. That one looks a little. That one looks a little better. A little cleaner. Yeah. Let's try. See if I can get around here. Ooh, I'm. Oh yeah. The platter looks okay though. Yeah. It's probably a lot better than, in, I don't know. What's the arm on that one? Uh, a Torrens arm. Just a Torrens arm, okay. Yeah, but the, the gimbal bearing looks interesting on that. I've never seen one yeah. like that. Shadows are not doing us any favors back here. But And then another Dynaco? That's a Dynaco on, uh, back there. And then on top of the uh, Luxman uh, preamp, tube preamp. Yeah, this Luxman's gorgeous. Um, and that's next to the another Fisher. This is a 500B. That's a Fisher 500B. I man. wonder what the difference is between the 500B I and the 500C. I do not know. Um, carry mono blocks. Where are those? One here, one there. Oh, yeah. And a preamp on top of it. And show us, you can probably take these out. Show us show us those mono blocks. Those are cool. Which ones? The VTLs. Okay, they're extremely heavy. Oh, okay. Maybe the, maybe yeah. don't then. Hold on. Let me see. God. Yeah, no. They're, they're down there. They're, they're cool. Down there. They're not going anywhere right now. They're... Un, un, Do you know what model those are? Um... Deluxe ultralinear power amplifier designed by David. Oh God, VTL vacuum tube logic. Um, Nothing written on there. Look at these tubes. What, what are these? I don't know. I'm not. I mean, I'm not a tube expert, but. It says uh, the model is PE Lux 120. So those maybe these are the Lux 120. That's right. Those maybe. So do you think it's 120 watts? Probably 120 watt. Uh, that's a it's a powerful tube amp. Yeah, it's mono blocks. That'll heat your room. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then this is a uh, Thorin's Torrens TD125 with tape on top of it. And looks like behind it. Um, Oh yeah, you can see the sprung. The suspension looks still uh, yeah. bouncy. Yep. And you see behind it, there's a Marantz uh, stereo tuner. It looks like. Yeah, there's two tuners. One of them's got the uh, one of them's got the scope in it. Ah, uh, the yeah. oscilloscope. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think a CD player on top of that, right? Yeah, there's a K and CD player. Tube CD player. Yep. And then there's another one of those ancient Scots. Two two more little. Really old Scott amp, that gold colored amp down there. I believe that's Scott as well. I mean, oh. That could be the prize at the end of this. After you clean up all this stuff, you can finally get to that yeah. one. How about this? Oh my god. He hasn't shown this to me yet. No. tube analyzer, I guess. It's recently huh. calibrated. <laughs> Any ideas wow. how to use it? I have no idea. Bueller? Bueller? Yeah, let us know in the comments if you know how to use this thing. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is. So, Jim, what's your, what's your plan with this stuff? What are you, what are you trying to do here? Well... I want to help the guy out. What we're going to do is clean some of it up, sell some to collectors, and part out the rest, really. And, you know. Going to keep any of it for yourself? I'm, I'm looking at hopefully my commission will be keeping the uh, 
Citation 2 and maybe the Citation 1 preamp, the amp and preamp. Are those sounding good in your system? They sound, I think so. Well, I haven't heard the preamp yet, but that Citation 2, it's got enough heft and power really at 60 watts. It, it sounds, right now it sounds a little better than the Citation 5. Really? Yeah, but it's not, and it's not even broken in yet. It's got brand, it's got, it's a week old. The caps are, were installed less than a week ago. So that's the plan is to uh, part this out. It's, you know, r collecting kind of has a sunset to it, you know, <laughs> and that's what's happened here and kind of helping a family out. And it's a strange collection. It's a weird, yeah, odd it's collection. Uh, Scott, a lot Fisher, of Scott, a lot of Fisher, Fisher 500s, some all tubes, though, really interesting, yeah. crazy. This is, tubes. I and think this, this is my is, favorite. Yeah, it's just beautiful. I bet, I bet you you put a nice tone arm on that and get get the parts electronics cleaned up, and I bet that's going to be a wonderful table. Yeah, I bet you that could sound fantastic. So, there we go. All this equipment. All right. Well, thank you so much for showing this to me, Jim. This is this is my awesome. Pleasure, this Michael. is you've you've undertaken a lot. Yeah, this was a lot of work putting this all in here. I worked my butt off. My knees are done. <laughs> All right, well, let's go to some records then. Cool.